Oh, howdy guys, how's it going? So, we are out here uh, today for a nice little ATV tent camp. Um, and I wanted to do this with all this gear to test out these new roller cam straps I've got before I try using them kayaking just to make sure they're solid. And I can say after that ride in, these things right here work fantastically. And they held that stove so firm and tight to the front of the four-wheeler. That I really didn't have hardly any rattling issues like I did that first time when I tried uh, just bungee strapping them in. And if you're uh, curious about the stove, it, it's summertime now. It is hot. Uh, I brought the stove just because it's been kind of dry the past few days. And uh, it could also get windy. So between having that wood stove and the uh, spark arrestor on top of it, um, you know, we can still have a fire to cook with. And uh, it, I thought that would be another great test for the uh, four foot long uh, straps and so that right there done very good uh, I done went and kind of kicked and cleared out the spot over here um, it's a place we've camped at before uh, there is a big ants nest uh, right at the uh, what's going to end up being I guess the head end of uh, where my tent's at so definitely glad that we uh, brought the tent could have went with the hammock um, but I got a new cot and other things that I wanted to uh, set up and try for the first time also before another kayaking trip This right here isn't a big rock. This right here just got roots growed all the way around it. And at this point, we've set this thing up quite a few times, so I'll probably speed through the process of doing that in this one. One thing that I've not done yet to these boots, uh, that I really should have done, is I've not treated these with permethrin yet. Um, these ants are not, uh, they're not too shy about trying to crawl on them and up them. Alrighty, and since it is the time of year that it is, instead of staking these front doors down, we're just going to keep this thing unzipped, and I'm either going to unroll them, or I might see if I can find some sticks, and we can stake them out and up, but I think I'm just going to roll them back. Okay, so I'm going to set this up out here and then try to get it set back in there without getting it covered in ants. But this is the uh, the new cot that I got that I'm really looking forward to uh, trying out. Um, it's made by a company called Mission Mountain right now. Uh, they just got a handful of these ultra compact type pieces of equipment. Like this thing right here uh, weighs I think 4.2 or 4.4 ounces and has a 310 pound uh, weight capacity. I've already set it up at home just to get a feel for it. Let me go ahead and get those situated. And then the overall assembly of this thing is straightforward. You just start at the feet down here where it's got these, uh, these red arrows. And you just take and feed your side support poles in. You just got to make sure to get in every single groove because these gaps right here are where your legs will go. Or like snap onto, I should say. But 
shit. Then when we get to the end, and this is the only part, like it, when you first set it up, I've, I've already done it, so it's a little bit looser now, but it is pretty stiff to get in there. So if you got uh, sensitive or weak hands, that's really something you need to take note of. So make sure you set it up before you ever uh, actually take it out somewhere. And these legs have this clasp system to where once you get this end on one side, you, you'll put this end on the other side and then you'll clamp it down. And whenever you first set this up, these are super stiff and you'll hear them click in place. I got that one, a little bit of the rubber gripper part right there that you can use on the bottom of the legs. And that's good. I'm really glad they went ahead and included these because that'll help protect your tip floor and also keep it from uh, sliding around too much. Just like that, baby, you got yourself a cut got the uh, peculiar task of getting this thing in here because that's something I've not got any experience with trying to do yet but I'm pretty sure if we just take and pull this back long ways put area first come down so this will definitely fit in this tent it'll fit the foot like the floor print pretty perfectly but I think I'm going to have to uh, assemble it inside the tent but uh, I'm glad I, I'll, I'll do that and uh I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Alrighty, not going to lie to you. That was more difficult than I thought it would be. But now I know the uh, the best way to actually get this thing in here. And it does fit the bottom of this uh, tent perfectly. And then you got yourself a nice cup. I did end up putting the head in down there. But I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. Just get this up so stuff can't get in here. Oh yeah, baby. That's perfect. Even with this, still enough clearance I can set up without rubbing the uh, the netting against the uh, the rain fly. Um, this cot is made of like a, a heavy duty mesh material. Um, I did bring a new Red Camp Z Fold uh, foam pad with me. Um, I might lay it on there and just kind of see the difference in comfort. But I think I'm going to end up just sleeping with it like this to allow what airflow comes through here to pass underneath me. Uh, really the only reason why I would like to uh, have that pad in here is so that I can take and wrap the elastic band of my inflatable pillow around it. Also, I took and got a fan that was bought at a, uh, like a thrift type store. And I'm going to attempt to hang it in here. The problem is it's pretty big. I plan on getting one of uh, the Blackfire's... Uh, smaller battery powered fans but yeah this right here is the fan it's supposed to have a decently long run time it's got a light and the other cool features it's got a timer on it so it has a hook and so this thing is like just kind of a bit large and then my tent has a hook here but the hook in the tent is almost too small for this to even go through and the last thing I want to do is damage the uh, the mesh on my tent. So that's what I'm kind of worried about. I wish if this thing pivoted in a slightly different direction, I don't think that's going to put too much tension because this thing does have some pretty heavy duty mesh. So let's take and turn this fan on high here. Oh, feels so good. Let's see what this fan's like on low though, just to get an idea. sweating my looking balls here uh, so I mean yeah to fall asleep having it on low set the timer and this thing doesn't have a name on it or like anything so I can't really uh, tell you guys what it is or recommend it because it was just like I said it was found at, at a store with a bunch of other random stuff but it's got a one hour timer two hour timer four hour timer and eight hour timer oh, that right there is the bee's knees keep it turned that way just so the okay yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try and put in this uh red camp foam z fold uh pad in here and like we'll just see how how she goes 
It comes with this uh, mesh storage bag, but I'm pretty sure after I, uh, like whenever I take and actually attach this to the outside of my pack, if I'm hiking in, then I will just uh, take and put some elastic bands around it. But I like this because this is one of the few companies, or really one of the only companies I've found that makes this to where uh, one side is like brown and not a bright like neon green or yellow or orange. Um, I know that's a small thing because one side's silver, but you know, it's kind of just a, a little personal preference deal. Oh yeah. And I mean that alone does increase the comfort a lot, but it immediately stops all the airflow. So I'm not sure if I'll be using that or not. It's like I don't mind like the, the comfort of the cot by itself is really nice. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and don't forget guys, uh, the end of this month being May 2023 is when we will be doing the drawing and announcing the uh, the winner of a giveaway of one of these Pike Trail backpacking chairs. So I will have a link to that video for you know how you enter the giveaway. If you haven't done that already, you still will have a chance to do so. And then make sure your YouTube notifications are on for my channel. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload a video because that is how I will be announcing the winner as well as over on my Instagram. Now here is something that uh, I'm definitely going to need to break out right now because I'm starting to get a lot of these like uh, horse flies and stuff flying around. But uh, this is a uh, thermosail do jig that's supposed to have about a 20 foot, oh, a 20 foot radius with it. So I think I turned it on. I've not got a chance to use this yet, but it has like a, a little like liquid internal cartridge. Because we're on a hill, I don't know how well it's going to set on this like we'll move the table and stuff in a bit but i think you are supposed to keep it upright because right there is the uh oh and it's starting to fog a little bit i'll take and get a closer shot of that for you guys here in a minute yeah we can take and start putting this thing together we can hopefully alleviate some of our insect issues we'll start getting our winter well uh, nomad stove set up because i'll probably kind of have it positioned right where y'all are at because uh, like you know don't need it for the heat whatsoever um, but I'll try to level it up a little bit and we'll use it for cooking. You know what? I'm actually going to take and set this on the ground for a minute. That'll be easier while we are moving and knocking about. I think that's all the piping we need to use for this go round. I took and uh, changed the uh, position of the two, two legs on the upper side, and now that right there is pretty much flat. Alrighty, so I got some nice dry sticks up in there. We're going to be going quick and easy. I'm going to use uh, one or two of these Choctaw fire tabs. 
and then this little Zippo style lighter. I think that flame height would be good enough. We'll get two of these here. So we're not really roughing these up like we would if we was using a uh, ferro rod, but strike that. Because those are still wound up nice and tight, they should burn a bit longer. Oh yeah, they're already lighting up that one piece right there. That was on the end. I heard the leaves are crunching and I come over here and found this little fella. He's got a nice little uh, tiger pattern going on. Well, I'm going to leave him alone because I don't think he likes me being there. I want to take and uh, this right here is some pretty seasoned white oak so we're going to try some batoning with this new uh wayland tracker knife if you uh, watch the kayaking video you see that i took it on that trip but really you know i didn't have a ton of uh use for it on that video but this thing right here has some substantial weight to it oh it's carbon steel i got this rock right here i just gotta be careful and not drive this through slam that rock but we'll just get a couple pieces to help the stove get going because i took me two benadryls for my allergies so we're gonna make a little bit of coffee to keep us keep us sharp this right here is pretty knotty too so I think it's gonna be clear to say that this thing passes the initial time test still gonna have a lot of a ton to do with it before we know for sure Coffee prep work done here, so we're gonna be having some of Pursuit Energy's new breakfast blend coffee. It is very, very delicious. Um, and then I'm gonna be using my new uh, pour over coffee pot. Uh, but in order to do that, I got to, I'm gonna take and uh, heat the water in the 900 milliliter pot. Now I remembered the spoon this time. Because we'll definitely need a spoon for the meal that we'll be having. Because I've got my food, my canned food, in still in my backpack over there. Oh, that's 
nice. So yeah, make sure I get my measurements right. I just fill this cup up first. And just take and transport it over to this cup. that up. We'll go ahead and set that right there so it can start heating up. And this is super simple cause just put that there. There's our titanium mesh coffee filter. Whenever I open this bag, these bags are resealable, but uh I just I pulled too hard on the corner so I got I had to put it in a Ziploc bag. I just I think I can set this fan out here just to increase the airflow it is it's cooling off nicely i don't think it's going to get as cool as i uh, was originally predicting they said it was going to get down to uh, 51 but if it gets below 68 64 i guess i should say i'll be surprised get the air out lock in that freshness and then I'll just cover that like so set that aside i'm really glad i was able to get this table more uh leveled out now it's it's been very uh, difficult and somewhat dangerous to uh, try to make the coffee with it as uneven and stuff as it was. Now for the fun part, which is we see if we can uh, pour this without burning ourselves. Oh, hello, that's... So let that take and drip down in there. I can tell you one thing, man, that fan's just blowing that smell of that coffee right in my face. Makes you just want to dive right into it. One thing that can help is if you take a, a spoon or even just a stick and you kind of brush around that filter because where I'm using uh, like really really fine coffee that might uh, that might cause like the uh, the screen to want to clog a little bit which that's good though because that means we're going to definitely be getting the most out of these uh, coffee grounds and also that the, the uh, filter on is really fine and extremely high quality it would go a lot faster if you had less finely ground like hand ground coffee and I'm going to do that too at some point. I've not seen any other ones like this. Like Volcan is the only place I've seen with this type of titanium uh, coffee filter, so I'm really glad they come out with it. I'm going to use the last splash of water over here to rinse the spork off because I'm going to need it to out the top. Eat me. Food and we'll be using this same pot right there to take and warm our food up. Alrighty, I walked over there and knocked those grounds out of the filter part and I'll rinse it a bit here in a second. Oh man, it's beautiful. Just nice, bold, rich flavor. All right, I'm going to take and finish this, and then uh, the cuisine for tonight is uh, SpaghettiOs and meatballs. i got two cans. I think both cans will fit in that, but I'm just going to heat up one can at a time, uh, just because I feel like that'll be quicker, and I'm, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to go ahead and eat one can. So we'll get back with y'all, and it's time to do that. Right there should be nice and heated up. Yep, 
I mean, if it was, it ain't bad. I've been using this fan for a bit now, and it's still showing that it's at 100% charge. I'm not sure, but let's see what the uh, so those are three lighting modes. Hmm. Alrighty, guys, it is uh, time to hit the hay. I'm gonna take and uh, put my wooby in here. <clears throat> I doubt we're going to uh, need it. Like it feels really good right now. And I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna take and put that fan back in here. We'll just go ahead and get that stretched out. And then it's really hard to uh, to show you guys. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. But what I like to do is I like to take my Shimog. I've not even used it today. I just had this one stuck in that backpack. But I like to kind of use it as a pillowcase. I just drape it over the back tuck this front side underneath and then that textures a little bit better than the one that's like already on this that thing to calm down I took and untied my boots a minute ago so it'd be easier to run a set down in here and they should just fit perfectly right there along the side of my cot I got my sunglasses in that little pocket right there Back up back there. I think I'll go ahead and just stick my feet underneath here. Oh, but yeah, man, with that uh, that fan going, that breeze, it just feels really nice because it is starting to cool off. So I'm just going to take and lay here and relax. And uh, I brought that Black Fire speaker. I've been uh, like I've been listening to music, so like it'll turn back on. It just uh, I turn, you know, I gotta turn it off whenever. The recording starts. YouTube don't uh, don't appreciate that too much. Uh, to uh, see how this does, so I'll uh, report back to you guys in the morning. Let's get this light turned off. Uh, good night. Oh, good morning guys. How's it going? Let me take and turn this fan off. It's actually still going. Still going on low. Yeah, I just I did I just decided to take and leave it running and not even mess with the um not even mess with the timer, but the uh the birds are out this morning. And I gotta say, man, sleeping on this cot with, with the uh, that sleeping pad was phenomenal. You know, there it is. Uh, I did have to take and tuck my feet under that wibby blanket for a short bit last night, but this morning I'm back to the side. I didn't need it on all. Um, huh. I don't think it got down anywhere near um, as low as they said it was, unfortunately. But, like, having this fam just makes a world of difference, you know, leaving the tent, the side of the tent open, letting what little bit of air would stir up from time to time come through. It just did really help keep things uh, bearable. I think that one, and, and these birds, they definitely don't want you to, uh, they don't want you to sleep in whatsoever. Oh, yeah, so now all that's left to do is get up and get all this stuff broke down and packed up and uh, ratcheted back on to the old four wheeler and go get this bad boy edited and uploaded. So uh, that'll do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the channel and the videos with your friends, family, anybody that enjoys the great outdoors. And don't forget, if you want to check out, I got I got links to a lot of this stuff. If you don't find a link to something, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments. I may have accidentally forgotten it and or uh, I just I could not find it. It's no longer something that I was able to find online to reference to. So that and then my personal eBay link is down in there. Sometimes I have camping gear and stuff uh, used and or new that I put on my eBay page. Uh, if you want to go check out that link, um, you might could cop some gear that you end up seeing in uh, videos most all my stuff my camera stuff i keep but it's like if i ever end up with like a duplicate of something or uh or anything then i'll i'll throw it on there that's going to do it till the next one so 
Adiós.